my guest tonight is not just a guest, okay? He's a cool guest, and this is the first time we're meeting, so friendship, you know him from Fresh Off the Boat, The Interview, and most recently, everyone's favorite show, WandaVision. Please welcome Randall Park. What's up? How hey. are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, I can't believe this is the first time we're meeting. This seems so wrong. I know, wrong I know. Wrong right at the Great. same time. Yeah, it's it's so weird, but but it's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you too. So now that we're like new friends, I feel like yeah. I'm allowed to ask some some basic questions that maybe I should know, but I'm still curious about. Is that cool? Okay. 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 Like Randall Park to me is quite possibly the best name I've ever heard, and so I'm <laughs> I'm assuming that this must be like a stage name, like Randall Park. No. No. no? Real name. Real name. Birth name. Yes. Your parents yes. knocked it out I of the park. <laughs> Part, out of the yeah. park, Randall Park. Oh my God! Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> did good. Did you see that thought process happen? I was like, wait, Park, Park, Randall Park. I did have a stage name once before. Oh, okay. Right out of college, I was in a band, and I went by the name Randruff. Huh? Why? Why Randruff? Because you know Randall, and, right. and then at the time I had a, I, I was dealing with a, like a very severe case of dandruff, so I just combined Randall and dandruff. Yeah. What a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that. Like, let me just embrace every part of me. We kept it very real. I love that so much. So people would literally go, Randruff, oh my God, it's Randruff. That's everything. <laughs> so um, Randall, how has your quarantine been? Are you, are you happy? Are you at home right now? What's been going on? I'm at home right now. I'm doing good. Um, I did have s some crazy stuff happen to me uh, uh, a while back. So back in October, um, I was, it was just, you know, I was just, just a regular day uh, and I was uh, about to go to bed and all of a sudden I felt like I couldn't breathe. Oh. And I was like, oh no, I, I, think, I think this is COVID, you know, because I was like fighting for more air. And, um, but also I couldn't stop moving, like physically moving. I was pacing around the house and I just couldn't stop. Every time I tried to sit down, I'd have to get right back up. And wow. I called my doctor the next morning. I was like, well, what, what is going on? Uh, I was freaking out. And the doctor was like, it sounds like a anxiety attack of some sort. And I was like, I don't get anxiety attacks. I'm like the, the you know, I'm like the even keeled, chill person. Yeah. And, you know, and she was like, well, has anything traumatic happened to you recently or is there anything coming up that that's uh, a source of anxiety and I was like no I'm like you know I'm fine aside from like the global pandemic uh, aside from the the 2020 <laughs> yes political turmoil and the end of civilization as we know it aside from that I'm just chilling I'm good you know basically kept going for the next two and a half weeks uh, so two and a half weeks into it, I hadn't slept. I was I was delirious. I was at my wit's end. I was calling every doctor I knew. And you know, when you're Asian, you know doctors, you know? So I was like calling up everybody. Of all people, my friend Ken Jong, uh, Dr. Ken, he, he, he kind of guides me to the right people. And I started, uh, you know, getting, getting on the right medication to help me kind of, you know, not have these attacks and 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 uh, working with specialists and and figuring out you know what exactly was going on and and uh, over the next like few months so you know I just made a lot of changes meditating, eating right, getting off of social media. I did all these like huge changes just for my mental health and uh, and and you know they've been they've been great for me. So, so you're feeling well now. Feeling much better, yeah. 2020, yeah. man, and that doesn't stop. <laughs> doesn't stop giving the year, I tell you. You know, I mean, it definitely sounds super scary. I'm glad you're okay. But I, I also love the fact that you said, like, I, I know a lot of doctors because I always make jokes of, like, we all have that one doctor friend that we FaceTime. We're just like, all right, listen, can I drink and take Advil? Let me call my doctor friend. Like, you know, that one friend that we have. Oh, yeah. Ken, you know. thank you for your service. We see you. We're shedding you out here yeah. a little late with thing. Um, let me ask you this, Randall. Now, you're talking about anxiety and you're talking about the things you've done, whether it's learning new tools or making changes in your life. Do you feel that growing up mental health was a conversation that was comfortable for you and your family. And I say this because I feel like there's a lot of similarities between the cultures we're probably yeah. raised in. Yeah, no, no, we didn't talk about it. It makes sense now looking back, cause you know, 
parents come to this country as immigrants and and they you know they didn't know the language very well when they got here and and they're they're trying to do the same things that every parents are trying to do you know keep the house afloat and take care of the kids and 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 work at their jobs and you know it, it's already stressful but to be immigrants uh in that situation i mean there's just so much anxiety in the house and and uh, but but it was something that we never talked about it's definitely the uh, passed down as far as the, the way we respond to it you know at least for me do you find now you you are learning the tools to talk about it and you do feel more comfortable because i felt in my adult life i finally reached a point where i was like no i'm now giving myself permission to fully learn how to do this <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And you know, while I was going through it, my parents were very concerned. We were talking about it, and uh, and you know, it was some of the first kind of real conversations about anxiety that that we had. So, and, and it, in a lot of ways, it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. So it's always nice to find the silver linings of any situation. The silver lining yeah. is now there's dialogue. Uh, you know, yeah. Randall, we just met, but I feel like I can conclude something. I feel like your energy is first of all very humble. That's that's become clear to me. I feel like you have very good energy, but I also feel like, especially the industry we're in, if we were like at a red carpet together, there was a green room, I can imagine that other celebrities attract to you. So is that true? Be real with me. Do celebrities no. like, to, come on, do celebrities? No, that's, that's not true at all. Get out that's of here. They must true. admire your work so much. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't I don't get swarmed when I'm at, at any celebrity. Randruff, like, Randruff, yeah. are you being honest, Randruff? <laughs> I don't even go to these celebrity events that often, you know, like it's just not my, uh, uh, you know what though, there was one time. Okay, here we go, here we just go. Just one time okay. where I was very pleasantly surprised. I was at a party. It was after some award show. I was there with my wife and you know, and I, again, I don't like parties. If I, if I had my choice, I would have been at home. But my wife loves these parties, so we're like, okay, okay, we'll go. But I, you know, as soon as I get there, I'm like, I, I think I want to leave. And I, and we're sitting in, a, you know, just sitting on this little couch in the corner, and I'm looking out, and I'm, and I was like, oh my god, that's Drake. Drake is at this party, and he was kind of in a, a you know, another corner with a, with a big entourage. And uh, I was just like flipping out because I love Drake. Of course. You know? And I thought I was like, okay, that's cool. I saw Drake. Let's 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 get out of here. That that was worth that was worth being at this party. And my wife was like, no, you got to meet him. And I was like, no, no, I do not want to meet him. She grabs my my arm and beelines to Drake the whole time. I'm like, please don't don't do this. She goes up to Drake. She taps him on the sh on the shoulder, and Drake turns around and he looks at my wife like, "Who are you?" You know. And I'm like, "Oh no, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad." <laughs> <laughs> and my wife says, uh, th uh, "This is uh, this is my husband, Randall. He's such a huge fan of yours." And then Drake looks over at me, and he just lights up. He lights up, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm such a huge fan of yours." And I was like what are, are you serious <laughs> like oh that's thank you wow i'm such a huge fan of yours and and uh and i remember him saying this made my day and i was like that's crazy you made drake's Drake day yeah Woo! yeah Woo! I mean, meeting him made my like life so i was it was like for him to say that was was super cool and i was like all right okay no this party i'm glad we went to this party okay wait see i knew it i knew it randruff i knew it i knew you were lying um so but when you talked to drake though when you said like i'm such a big fan i love you did you ask like hey like what projects have you watched and enjoyed did you get the because no. i would have been like give me a list alphabetically ordered no what no no, no. <laughs> no because you don't do that because i don't do that because what I, my thought is he'd say something like okay i loved you and harold and kumar and i'd be like <laughs> That that's not that's not me. Um, <laughs> anyway, and then I would have been bummed out. So so yeah, I didn't go that far. Listen, all I know is that you made Drake's day. Okay, basically <laughs> he's a fan. I basically, Tuzi Slide was for you. He wrote that song for yes, you. Yes, it was. It was. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> now, Randall, of course, we have to talk about WandaVision. Literally, everyone on my timeline is talking about WandaVision. Even here on the on the set, everyone's talking about WandaVision. Congratulations. Wow, of, Thank you. Of course, you appeared in the fourth episode of One Division. It was a surprise. So I need to ask, when when you do surprises like this, like are you good at keeping secrets? Were you act did, did your family and friends actually not know you were in One Division? Like as far as like Marvel stuff, like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 
uh, yeah, you know, uh, I mean, my some of my family, they, they knew, but they didn't know like the extent mm -hmm. uh, or they didn't know the details, you know? I mean, thankfully they, they don't really care, you know? So oh, I they don't care to, about Marvel? So they weren't like, I, I mean, they, they, they're they happy that I'm working uh, and they're happy that uh, I'm, I'm involved in a Marvel project. They know how huge that is, but they're not, uh, you know, they're not like super fans. So, so they're not pestering me with questions, which is a good thing. But when I do get pestered with questions, which has been happening happening a lot lately because the show is so popular, I'm very good. I'm very good at keeping uh, the secrets and uh, and and not not spoiling anything. You know what? I love that you so openly say that your family is just they're just happy to have work. They could care less. They're about Marvel. They don't really care because I feel oh. like my parents would do the same thing. I remember I told my parents once. Oh, I got a really big deal. I think it was when I was writing my book. I got a really big yeah. deal. And I kid you not, my mom's exact response. I was talking for 10, but exact response. Good job. And that was, <laughs> that was it. That's so are your it. parents similar? Were they just like... Totally. Small, totally. short and sweet. No, they just want to know that we, we are okay and that we have health insurance. That, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Hey, thanks so much for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more just like it. If you don't, none of us can leave set. Thanks!